everybody, Chad Westport here, and this is still part of the New Year, New Gear series. It's getting things set up. Today we are setting up the Cloudline T6 inline extraction fan. We're setting up our Cloudray S6 oscillating fan for air movement in the tent, and also the AC Infinity 6 inch carbon filter. So let's go check out what comes in the box. All right, so first up, we got the Cloudline T6 inline extractor fan. What's in the box? It's got the Molex to UIS adapter in case you got one of the old systems. Takes the plug, converts it to the new one for the Controller 69 Pro, which is also in the box. You've got your temperature probe, tests your humidity and temperature at the canopy level. That's a great thing. You got two six inch clamps, you got yo yo's, and you've got mounting hardware, screws, zip ties, Velcro zip ties. And again, this damn thing that comes with every freaking piece of cannabis gear you buy that I still have no idea what it does. Next up, we have our six inch carbon filter, which when that fan pulls the air through it, it helps remove the nasty smells. Well, I love the smells, but it also comes with a two pack of pre-filters, which is rags. See, things usually come with one and it gets dirty. I have two, I can change it when I want to now. And last but not least, we've got our six inch oscillating fan. It's got the fan right there. You attach it to the little clip. The clip goes onto the pole like that really handy super cool but in the box you have an adapter and this one actually goes from the new UIS to the old system so if you have one of the old systems this can integrate right into it so that's what that's for and again you've got the cord to connect it all you've got your twist ties and your velcro cord straps so that's what's in the box with these now let's just get them set up all right, I got the T6 inline fan already mounted. It is gonna aim right out this hole. I'm gonna obviously put some of that uh, exhaust hose on there, but boom, it's sitting at the right height. And the way that I've mounted it is a kind of cool custom trick I do with all of these fans, because I use a bunch of them. So, see these? I got little steel wires. These actually came with for hanging lights for a little quantum board, but I repurposed them for this. They just go through the little holes on the mounting plate here go through the side, go through the side, come out the top, attach it to a carabine up there, and then it fits right over the pole. So simple, easy mounting. Plus I also like having the plate to put all my cords. Keeps everything nice and tidy, keeps it out of the way. My cords, they come over here, they run above the pole, because again, I don't want them hanging down. They're hanging down right now because they're not plugged in, but they're gonna run over there. And one thing I do wanna say, people, put your power strips up high. Do not put them on the ground. You may spill water, you may have a little flood. Put your power strips up. But speaking of up, the T6 inline fan is mounted. Now to hook up the Controller 69 Pro, pretty easy. I've got one cord from the temperature probe inside. I've got the other cord for the fan. That's the speed controller. It's how it communicates with this unit, the Controller 69. And it's got little mounting holes on the back. I got the plate on here and I used the mounting screws to attach this to. It also has a cool magnet on here, so that's kind of fat ass too. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple. And the ports are on the back here. So another easy way to access it, lift that arm and you want to stick the cords through there. Now they're labeled one through four. I'm only using one fan. So let's make sure that I put this cord into the number one slot. All right, that goes into there pretty easily. Kaboom. And we take this attach that right there and then I'm gonna close this perfect get it up here on the holes boom mounted super simple so here's a little piece of advice that works for any time you have to hang something heavy instead of like lifting the object and trying to get your cords on there and then quickly oh, over to the other one as it starts just put it on the ground get your yo-yos bring them down to the ground pretty simple attach it here take your time attach it here and then all you have to do to raise it up 
Boom. Super simple. Very easy to do. Save your back, save some hassle. It's a little hack on lifting heavy things in the grow tent. All right, so this is pulled up to a height that I need. Let me flip it and, oh, it's almost there. You know what? You just take the bar, sorry if I'm in the way there. Just take this bar, slide it to where you need it. Oh, take these two, couple them. There you go, match made in heaven. Booyah! All right, and so the last part of this setup was the S6 fans, the oscillating fans that are gonna move the air around in here. Now, I have two in my 4x4, and I place them on different poles, but kind of the same side. One I like to always have in the back because it kind of pulls some air from the back of the tent, the deepest corner, and I like to have that one below the canopy level. Move air below the canopy, it's important too. You don't want microclimates. But we all know you want to move air above the canopy, kind of toughen them up, eh, keep things moving. So we've got this one on that corner, which is going to be moving the air above the canopy. And the reason it's in that corner is it's by the opened part of the door when I have lights on. So it can also draw in fresh air. Voila. All right, so there we go. We've got our Cloudline T6 inline extraction fan set up with the six inch carbon filter to scrub the air attached to it. Pretty easy peasy. This one goes out to the smart controller outside of the tent. That allows me to see temperature, humidity, and control a variety of things. But we also have the S6 cloud ray oscillating fans going, moving air. And these can also attach to the smart controller. I haven't done that yet. That's another video, but yeah. Everything is rocking with the AC Infinity fans in here. And don't forget, if you want to save yourself 15% on the AC Infinity website, just use Westport. When you check out as your discount code, save yourself a little bit of money. But for this video, I think I'm done. More videos coming up in the New Year New Gear series. But until then, you can find me on chadwestport.com. Instagram is chad.westport. And right here on YouTube, Chad Westport. So, until the next one, remember, party on!